The most important part of starting a blog is building trust with your audience. They don't know anything about you in the beginning. They have no idea who you are or what you're about. It's your job to help them build that trust, to get to know you, to get to like you, and eventually trust you enough to buy something from you. If your audience doesn't know you or like you, they won't read your blog, they won't interact with you at all, and they won't ever buy anything from you. Think about the people that you follow on social media. Why do you follow them? What is it that you like about them? How do you connect with them? One of my favorite people to follow on social media is Evan Carmichael. I love the content that he shares because most of what he talks about is building a business and building a YouTube channel, but he also sprinkles in a little bit of information about his personal life. He shares stories about his wife and their pets and their life in Toronto, and it helps me to feel like I'm getting to know him. It's more than just me learning from him business advice. It's also me learning about his life. In order to build your audience, you need three simple things. Know, like, and trust. Your audience gets to know you when you're sharing stories about your life. They feel like they're getting to know you on a personal level as a friend. The second element is like. Your audience has to like you in order for them to follow you and to connect with you. They see things about your life that they relate to and connect with, and they see themselves in you. So they want to follow you, they want to engage with you. And the third element is trust. They trust the advice that you give. They know that it's helpful and they want to learn more from you. They want to engage with you and eventually buy your products. If you want to learn more about starting a blog or an online business, make sure that you sign up for my blog school email list at infjwoman.com slash blog school. There's a link in the video description. Here are three ways that you can build know, like, and trust for your blog. Number one, tell your story. Share the struggles of your transformation. Talk about the emotional pain that you were in, the reason that you want to write this blog, and then talk about the transformation that you went through and how you got the results that you have now. People will relate to your story. That's what they want to hear. Number two, be real and authentic. You don't need to be impressive or perfect. So many people on social media are trying to be perfect. You see stories and pictures that are so filtered and you think that cannot be how life actually is. And it's really not. You can't really relate to that very well, right? The content that I relate to the most is the stuff that's real, that's vulnerable, that makes sense. The pictures that aren't filtered. And when people share their mess, that is the most authentic, real, and relatable content because not very many people share it. And number three, share parts of your life. You don't have to share your whole life all the time. You don't have to put everything out there. And I'm not encouraging you to share your address or pictures of your children if you don't want to. But you do need to share a little bit of your life so that people have something to relate to. They want to get to know you. They want to feel like they're one of your friends. The more that you share, the more connected that your audience will be to you. Building that know, like, and trust will get your blog off to an amazing start and it will help you to build your audience that will end up being customers that last for a lifetime. If you want more advice about starting a blog or an online business, make sure that you check out my blog school playlist. Also, make sure that you subscribe so you never miss a video.